Hi, in today's lesson, we're gonna show you how to use Luminar to create a complex mask and then replace the sky. Hi, my name is William Beam and we're in Luminar with a photo that's got a really dull and boring sky. And I wanna show you how to replace the sky. I've seen a number of tutorials where they replace the sky using a gradient mask and it just kind of pulls it down to a very nice and even level skyline. Unfortunately, a lot of my photos don't seem to work that way. I've got buildings that are in the way, or I've got trees, you know, with leaves out here, and the masking requirements are a bit more complex. Fortunately, with Luminar, it is quite simple, really, to make a mask that'll handle all that, and what we're gonna do is create a luminance mask. So we're gonna come up here to the menu, choose mask, create luminosity mask. It takes a moment to process, and then over here you can see we've actually got our mask created. That part was easy. Now let's go ahead and add our sky. Create the plus sign, add new image layer. And here's a photo I've got with a sky that I wanna to use to replace. So just open that up. It'll put that in place. And next thing you know, we've got seagulls in the way. So here's what we wanna do. We wanna come down to our luminosity mask. We're gonna right click that and click copy mask. Then we're gonna come up here to our clouds and we're gonna right click and we're gonna say paste mask. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's a really good starting place. The only thing you have to do now, instead of going through with your gradient brush and then trying to brush around all this stuff is we're gonna go ahead and select our brush and we're just gonna paint up here to make sure I've actually got it in the right place, and I do. So some of the area that you see in the sky is not quite perfect. Let me right click on a cloud and we're gonna say show mask and you might barely be able to see it, but there's little trace outlines over here because the, la the mask wasn't pure black and white. You know, it had little shades of gray. So all I'm gonna do is kind of scribble in here and make sure that the bulk of the sky up here is the way I want it. And that way I'm showing the clouds that are coming from my image and not what was left over from the luminosity mask. So, and then we'll right click and hide the mask. I'm gonna hit my X key to change my foreground color and then I can just start painting in and clearing up the mask that's over the building and the foreground and pretty much everything else. All of this part is really easy. You just get your brush. And one thing Luminar does by default that I don't particularly care for is it sets my opacity for the brush at 50%. And every, even though I know that every time I start painting, I have to realize it's not painting all the way through. So check your brush, make sure that you're getting it at 100% and come in here and just kind of brush out all the stuff that was in the foreground of the clouds or whatever photos that you've used to bring in. If you're not quite sure, just come over here, click on the mask, right click, show mask, and then you can kind of see some of the areas that you still need to clean up. You can see I've got some spots down here. And just little by little, we kind of want to clean those areas out. Now, I'm going to turn this off, hide the mask, and just zoom in a little bit for this area of the Capitol building. And I'm trying to stay away from the edges. And this is the part where, in any masking, you get a little tricky. It's just when you get close to the edges, decide how much you need to bring in and how much you can afford to leave out. If you go over the edge like I did there, don't worry, it is really that as simple as going back and hitting the X key, maybe adjusting the side of your brush, and then painting in the area where you went over a little bit. Too. And of course, I can, I'm being a little clumsy, I can kind of go back and forth a little bit. But overall, we've got a good mask collection here. Get back out. And I've got a little bit of area to clean up over there. But you can kind of see if I turn this off, that's where we started. And that's where we ended up. So that is the quick and easy way to replace a sky in Luminar. And as you can see coming over here by the trees, we've got a nice complex selection. You know, so you can see the sky going through the background. You don't have any haziness through that mask that was created over there. And just be careful when you've got that transparency layer when you're uh, brushing over here. You may have to go back and forth, you know, hitting the X key between what, uh, what you're painting in and what you're painting out. But once you've got that done, it is actually pretty simple to do. Hope this helped you. We'll see you again next time.
If you'd like to practice with these files, I will give you the raw files that I'm using here in, in this example. Just go to williambeam.com luminar1, and I'll post a link of that in the description below.